Hello, I'm Marla Jane Huntley, and I'm going to talk to you about Phyllis Wheatley. Phyllis Wheatley was born in 1753 in West Africa. At eight years old, she was she uh, she was kidnapped and brought to America. She was named after the ship that she sailed on to on into Boston. She was brought as a slave by John and Susan Wheatley in 1761. She learned English in less than two years. She then she then went to learn Greek and Latin. She began publishing her poems around the age of 12. In her first book, Poems on Various Subjects, Religious and Moral, Moral was published in London in the late 1773. She strongly supported the American Revolution. She was the first black woman to become a poet in the U.S. Now I'm going to read you one stanza from the poem called His, Ex- His Excellency General Washington. Proceed, great chief, with virtue on thy side. Thy every action let the goddess guide. A crown and mansion and a throne that shine with gold unfading, Washington be thine.